Alright guys, it's a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful, is it the second day of spring? 2024 I think it is, uh, good lord are we at Thursday, somewhere around March 21st, 2024, it is 59 degrees in Denellum, Florida here on the second day of spring, but it is a fine day. Global industrial civilization has returned. I went outside to this uh, recalcitrant chainsaw, cranked right up. Son of a bitch, cranked up, cranked right up. It is smoking a little bit, and uh, I, I, I do want to thank uh, the several people <laughs> telling me to use non-ethanol gas in my small uh, in, in my chainsaws. You know, when I get comments like this from uh, from one grown man to another, uh, I, you know, I have to think uh, exactly. I exactly how fucking clueless do uh, people think I am? Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, these guys have known that I have been using all kinds of small engines uh, for the past four years, chainsaws, brush whackers, the gator, uh, and, and, and just acting like I've never heard of fucking non-ethanol gas. Yes, and then, and then, and then a, uh, I, I guess another guy was implying that uh, I, I did not know I was supposed to mix the gas with two cycle engine oil. Uh, and it just like, it, 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 it kind of hurts me when, <laughs> when I have grown men uh, talking to me like I'm a fucking four-year-old girl uh, who does not know uh, to use fucking uh, non-ethanol gas in small engines and, and, and no shit Sherlock to melt the, to melt to mix the uh, two-cycle gas you know whatever come on people uh, now at the same time I if, if, if Guys, if you really do know uh, some tip uh, that you might think that I haven't thought of, but do understand you're talking to a 64-year-old uh, man uh, who has been using small engines uh, for about 52 years. Uh, <laughs> So what apparently the, the problem was, was this, okay, <clears throat> for the two or three uh, mansplainers out there, I mean, this is a, a, a mansplanation uh, of, of the, the only common denominator between these two saws was the gas. Okay, so we got, we got two saws that are running fine and then they both fail to start. And at the same time, well, I had my non-ethanol 90 octane gas mixed, you know, with the two gallon stuff, but it was a big gas can. And I will say that the, the little hole on the back of the gas can, you know, for the airflow, not the main pouring hole, but the little vent hole, the cap is gone. So this gas can has been exposed to the elements. We've had a lot of rain. There's been this little quarter inch hole that, that has been open to the elements. Okay, I, I, I am not denying that I've been sloppy on that, but if you've seen the, the price of fucking gas cans recently. So, anyway, the saws, we were down, uh, so it's like a 12 inch tall gas can, I guess. And so we were down to the dregs in the bottom of the big gas can. 
despite the the mixed non-ethanol gas, we were down in you know kind of the dregs in the very bottom uh, uh, <coughs> of the can that both of these saws were filled with when they uh, when they would not start, and so my buddy and I. Uh, we we dumped the gas out of each of the saws into a you know a clear gas jar, and it had an unfortunate uh, kind of a a, a, a light brown uh, <laughs> a, a a light brown uh, tint to it. Uh, I'm thinking that some of that two cycle oil never got you know I, I, I put the two cycle oil in an empty can then I used the force of the gas pump to mix the oil and uh, so there could have been some oil down there some sludge some water uh, from the open vent but what for whatever reason the gas was uh, a light brown so we emptied those two tanks, obviously, and thank God I caught the brush whacker in time before I uh, ran any gas through the carburetor on it, poured that one out. It was kind of brown looking. So uh, we got fresh gas in all three of the machines. The brush whacker was working fine. Uh, so the two saws <clears throat> with the fresh blue gas in them, neither one of them started yesterday. So my buddy's got one and I've got one. So we get up this morning. The one he has, you know, with the new gas in it, we, we cannot get it to start. And uh, so he went first and... Uh, he said there's no chance yours is going to start, uh, so I, I yanked mine, the thing started right up. Now when I first started it up, a bunch of smoke came pouring out of the back, uh, you, you know, out of the exhaust. A, a, a bunch of fucking smoke came uh, pouring out uh, of the exhaust. Uh, and I opened it full throttle and ran it for uh, about three minutes and the vast majority of that smoke went away so I've got new fresh gas in this chainsaw working fine so uh, you don't have to worry about this planet nibbler uh, so we are going to go finish the job okay we're off to finish the job dun 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 alright so I am getting out there and enjoying being a planet eater and enjoying the fruits of global industrial civilization while I still can and I see the uh, the burning continues that Florida continues to be on fire uh, just got off the phone with the Inverness City Fire Marshal to get my burn permit but we're not going to be burned until November anyway anyway get out there and burn down a planet while you still can I'm off to be a, uh, a real estate investor in the great state of Florida. Bye guys.